I'd like to start this video off by saying thank you guys for watching. Thank you for tuning in. But here's some shared ideas that I have. You know, one of the things being that ever since I started talking about Christ, I feel as though my audience has shifted. And I'll say two things about that. If it's because it's Jesus, and if, if it's for his glory, then I'll continue to speak about it. But if I'm doing something wrong, I hope that I'll be corrected. But I know it's for his glory, so I'll continue speaking of Jesus Christ and, his, and about his salvation and his love for you, the listener, and for his love for me, the voiceover. And, you know, as I make these paintings, this painting specifically is about the price that Christ paid on the cross there in Calvary, where he died for our sins. You know, many of us have different ideas on Jesus Christ, whether we accept him, don't accept him, whether we'll follow him, won't follow him, whether we'll share his message, won't share his message. We all have different points in where we stand about Jesus. But I'm here to present the, the grace, the mercy, the love, and to also show you the reality of not accepting this. This isn't a scare attack. The truth is we don't know what's going to happen when we die. But I tell you what, it's a better shot to, to aim and give your life to Christ Jesus today and live right by, God, by God's way through faith in Jesus Christ than to live a world where you have to follow the Ten Commandments. For we all know we are sinners. And if it was for the Ten Commandments on how we make it to heaven, we all know we'd be in hell tonight. So the message is simple. Jesus Christ came and he died for our sin. He paid the cost. He paid the cost so we didn't have to go to hell. So we don't have to live in suffering, anguish, etc., etc. He paid the cost. In Romans 9, verse 10. And I might have said that backwards. Hopefully I didn't. But it speaks about... And if I did, guys, just know I'm going to correct myself. But um, it speaks about how we are saved by believing in our hearts that Jesus... Christ is the son of God and by openly declaring that he is Lord. We got to be openly declaring the, the grace and the mercy and the greatness of Jesus Christ because this world is denying him. You know, there's many rappers, Lil Nas X, who are blatantly saying this or that about Jesus. And it's assault. It's an assault on our faith. It is. We're as a Christian, we are some of the most attacked people of all time and it's for a right reason we're obviously getting attacked because this world does not know jesus or have a liking for jesus and when you begin to present jesus to people who already hate them in their hearts it's hard to speak speak to them but what i'm here to, to speak to is the, the fact that Lil nas x has the opportunity to accept grace in his heart despite of whatever video he made despite of what he said despite of what he's done or does just like you, the listener, has an opportunity to receive Christ Jesus into your life before it is too late. See, this, this, this next pain is called the eternal suffering. And this is where you go when you have not accepted Christ Jesus in your life or obeyed and followed him. This is where you go. And this, this is a fate that even I don't, I don't have any control or understand. For even I know that my spot in heaven isn't guaranteed. It's only through our faith in Christ Jesus that we that we'll have a chance. So when I think about these things, it puts me in a place of, you know, submittance. I want to give my life to him. He already gave me his. He already gave me a way to speak to his father. You know, as a as an African or wherever you're from, you might be from Europe or Spanish, Hispanic, etc., Asian, or you might be from the Middle East. But I'm here to talk about the Gentile people, the people who weren't Israelites. We didn't have an opportunity to, to really speak to God. But it was when Jesus died that he gave a Gentile like myself, a boy that's from Nigeria, the opportunity to actually accept Christ into his life. That's what this video is about. This video is about how our acceptance of Jesus in our life is such a wonderful gift. It's such a blessing to be able to say that salvation has come to our household and not only for an afterlife but for a life here we don't have to live in anxiety anymore or worry about what will happen tomorrow 
For we know we have a God, a Father in heaven who loves us. And through his, Christ, his Son, Christ Jesus, we have this thing called joy. And we have the Holy Spirit who is our counselor. And through the reading of his word, we have a renewed mind. I can't help but to talk about Jesus when I know who I used to be. I used to be somebody who would love fighting. I used to love to try to hurt people. I used to smoke a lot, drink. I was a part. I was a partier. I, I was a fornicator. I was the worst of worst. And for Jesus to save me, to die for me, is a blessing that I don't even deserve. And truly, none of us deserve it. He loved us even when we didn't love Him. And I just want to make this video about serving him and thanking him for all of it. But that's it, y'all. That That's the same sad tune that maybe people feel like, oh, you talk about Jesus too much now. Well, if I don't talk about him, people wouldn't know that there's this place called hell. And I got to say something. I don't want anybody to receive that, especially when this thing called grace is so close to their grasp. It's literally a simple prayer of saying, Jesus Christ, you are right. You, I am a dirty sinner and you have come to die for my sins. You are the son of God who was here in human form who has died for me. It is so simple. It is right in front of us. I'd be a liar if I didn't share the gospel. But y'all, I do love y'all. Y'all, like, and I was also thinking about this concept I was going to get ready to do. And it's, it's basically me trying some foods or whatever. So just be on the lookout for that. I don't know how exactly I'll put the gospel into it, but I know it'll be some cool content because I like eating and maybe we can just talk about stuff, whatever we generally talk about. I don't know. Sometimes when I get on these videos, I feel like we just be saying random stuff and then we get done and then it's just be like, oh, all right, that's that video. But y'all at this point, um, we're at the, we're at the end. I just got, I just kind of, for me, I just kind of am trying to impact people. And that's why my paintings have been the way they are. That's why I talk about Jesus the way I do. Because I want to impact your life. Rather than just give you empty content that doesn't really help you. Rather than give you empty paintings that look cool but don't do anything for you. I want to actually bring an impact and change people's lives in Jesus' mighty name. Peace. Peace, peace, peace. I'm out. Bye. Bye. Leave. Leave. Peace. All right. Hi. Hey, shout out to my boy G's. Us? Okay. All right, we getting a little deep in this bag from this month. Hey, bro, I just realized that I didn't tell you guys the description of this painting. This painting is basically about the wages of sin and the price that Christ Jesus paid. So the price that Christ Jesus paid is the top piece and the wages of sin is the bottom piece. This painting is called Choose Your Wages. I don't know what this painting is called. I haven't really came up with a name all the way. It's just, uh, it's just a piece I got finished yesterday. Like literally I finished these, I believe yesterday. I took some photos and did a lot of photos and did a little video which I can place maybe at the end of this video for TikTok. Not TikTok, for Instagram, I'm tripping. But yeah, I made that video just to show my art collection to give a prelude to this video that's coming out. And